Oh, this place is exactly 666 meters. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Hey guys, it's you guys here. Welcome to Brand Episode. Today we are at the Tajima Highlands Botanical Gardens. Let's check it out. Uh, once we pay, which is going to be 1,020 yen or about $11 or so, we're going to now walk through those doors and check out the Botanical Gardens. Good stuff. Once you pay, you get a sticker and my daughter just kind of put the sticker on me, as you can see. It says the Tajima Botanical Gardens. Let's go. You waited enough. All right, so now we're walking upon the path. Lots of trees everywhere. We should be coming up to some pretty cool looking flowers soon. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we can see those. And uh, also they have an area where you can drink a lot of water. It's fresh water straight from the mountain source. So it should be pretty exciting. Let's go. She found one flower. Let's see if we can find more. These are all the different types of flowers that we can find during our walk. It's seven, which stands for July. So it's probably, probably this one, maybe. This is the map of the place. As you can see, it's fairly large and surrounded by trees. A little bit of a bridge. That water looks very clear. Check out that reflection. Check this out. I've never seen a flower like this, but if you can see, it's apparently that the leaf is turning white. Some have turned almost all white. I'm not sure what kind of flower this is. It was not written down in the book. If you have any ideas, please let me know down in the comments below. Interesting. We found some poisonous mushrooms. I don't want to touch it. I want to touch it. Very tempting. I'll stop. All right, so we're trying to get to the clean water drinking mountain thingamajiggy, but we're probably going the wrong way. This, this is moss filled to the brim. I have no idea where we're going, no. All right, so after reaching that dead end, now we're walking this very uh, small path to hopefully get to our destination. I have no idea if this is the right path. Where does this lead to? Let's find out. So we found a bridge, but it looks a little bit twisted. I don't know if it's safe to go across. After debating a little bit, we decided not to take the, the slightly bented bridge. I was really tempted to go across, but you know, I don't want to risk it with my pregnant wife. You know, it'd be really bad to die here. Yeah. Those are some really nice Fuji flowers. So we're finally going the right way. If you can hear it, there's rushing water in the background. Probably in a few more minutes we'll get there and we'll have some delicious mountain water. Pretty exciting. That is some fast moving water. Check this out. This water is probably freezing. Let's just Let's just put our feet in there. It is very cold. It's like ice water. The water here is absolutely freezing. I wish I had a temperature gauge because I think this is probably minus 10, minus 20 degrees Celsius. It literally burns your feet. Man, that hurts. So even though I said it's probably like minus 10 degrees Celsius, it's not even close. It's actually only um, 9.5 degrees Celsius but still very, very cold. Mm. We have arrived. This is the mountain water that you can drink from. Let's go. Sonia's gonna put some of the mountain water in there. How does it taste? Sonia, do. I think she likes it, very good. Let's give it a shot myself. All right, so let's put let's put it in my one my water bottle. Very good. Oh, we got lots in there. All right, let's take a drink. Mmm. It's something about drinking fresh mountain water that just tastes absolutely delicious. 
It reminds me of the time that I went to Alaska and on top of a glacier and I drank some of that glacier water. This is fantastic stuff. Look at all that. That looks absolutely beautiful. Over here is apparently the famous tree that all the water rushes through. As you can see, it comes through that little hole in between one of its trunks. These are one big ass leaves. I think they're leaves. Anyways, to give you an example, this is my hand. I can't, I can't cover it at all. Not Trump-like hands, guys. Big hands. Water rushes through here year round, so if you're ever in the middle of Hyogo and you want to come to this botanical gardens, chances are it's going to be open because it's open year round. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about this video or any of my other videos, feel free to comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks again for watching, guys. Bye.